everybody and welcome back to the vlog. We are back in the vlogging game now. We are back people. I know I have been very, 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 very MIA the past, well, a couple of months at least, but I am more than happy to say that my busiest time at work is now done and I am officially not on summer, but summer mode. It is a bit later now, it is 3.17. I've actually spent a lot of today, you know, after my walk with Kate sort of editing, but I wanted to sit down. I meant to do my nails last night and I was editing last night and I suddenly looked at the clock and it was 11 p.m. and I was like I'm just gonna go to bed like I'm not gonna worry about that and I'll do it today so I thought we would have a little chitty chitty chat chat and sit down and talk for a bit it's funny because I'm actually working on a vlog where I talk about like trying to find the perfect replacement nail polish for my favorite one which was sheer luck the two that I tried in the video were not so great but this one this one is called fairy Taylor. it is so nice this one could be on my nails for over a week and it still looks good so highly recommend this is the Essie Couture line and I always use the Essie top coat as well it is the best it's a big weekend you guys big 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 don't know if I talked about it. No, I feel like I did. I feel like I did when I got my Missouri earrings. Kate and I are going and getting our second piercing in our lobes tomorrow. I've been wanting to do this for years. And I think Kate and I actually started like talking about it in maybe October or November of last year, really getting it done, not just talking about it, like going and getting it done. And we both thought like it would be that perfect sort of summer fun thing to do. Our appointment is booked. We are going, we're getting it done. For the longest time, I thought I would only do it on one ear and that would be my right ear because I actually like much prefer the left side of my face to my right. I've done my nose piercing on this side. I've done my helix piercing on this side. And I was like, my right side Side means a little bit of love like I know I don't like it but it means a little bit of love but ultimately I just decided to go on both ears because I just love the look of that I love a multi layered lobe and that's what we're doing I've also been going back and forth with a neighbor of mine it's the same neighbor that I did the fitness class with last I just texted her I said you know when are you doing a next class and she said tomorrow so I was like you know what I'll come with you and so we're gonna do it's called tough love it's like a boot camp class tomorrow at 11 a.m. This is a more sheer polish, by the way. So this is a first coat. With sheer polishes, I normally do like three or sometimes even four coats. So this is gonna take a little bit of time. Okay, I'm on my third coat now. This is what it's looking like with three coats. You know what? I think I'm gonna do four. Give it another like five minutes to set. I like to do a significant period between the coats if I can, like a minimum of sort of three minutes. I just like to give it that time to dry in between, especially when you're doing so many coats. I made a cup of tea before doing this so that I wouldn't have to ruin my nails making a cup of tea after painting them. And just like that, you guys, the nails are done. I ended up doing four coats, but because I did four coats, it's quite thick. I mean, plus the top coat, it's quite thick. So I just need to be careful not to bump into anything. I've made myself another quick cup of tea just to sort of like get me over until dinner time. I think what I might do is I might actually clean my apartment a little bit. I haven't done that in a while, like vacuuming, like preliminary stuff. I'm not gonna get on my hands and knees and do any scrubbing, obviously, because it just, did the nails and plus it's six o'clock so i want to make sure i try and get that in before seven is is seven the cutoff time for loud noises i i mean i probably could vacuum like into the night i'm gonna be nice to my neighbors and try and do it before seven o'clock maybe clean the apartment for an hour i think that would be perfect
welcome to Sunday. Today's a big day. I've just made myself a protein smoothie. I'm not sure what it's gonna taste like. Oh, it's good. I'm loving the like combination of strawberry and chocolate because I don't like dipping my strawberries in chocolate. Like, ugh, gross. This tastes so good. It just like the strawberries add this beautiful sweetness to the chocolate. I'm loving it. It is 10.20 now. I'm about to head out in about 20 minutes to go to this workout class with my neighbor. It's gonna be so intense, hence the protein smoothie. I'm slightly concerned. Like I'm, I'm actually like slightly nervous. <laughs> so that should end around noon. And then I'm gonna rush back here, have a quick shower, get changed, and then go out for the ear piercing. Oh my God. I've been waiting so, so long to get this done. It's finally happening. I feel like this is my summer. This is my summer to do all the things that I've really always wanted to do. And this is definitely one of them. Mm, this is really good. Like really, really good. I haven't had a new piercing in forever. Like my latest one was my helix right up there. And that one was a B to heal. But at the same time, I love it. Even though it's been a pain, no regrets. All right, so I think I'm just gonna finish my smoothie, prep some water, and I'm gonna go to this workout class. Oh my God, wish me luck, you guys. Wish me luck. Hey guys, I'm back from my exercise class. It was really, really difficult. I even almost blacked out at one point, like no joke. I had to sit on the floor for a couple minutes. I, I was like seeing speckles, you know, and you can just tell that like you're gonna faint. And then that made me feel a little nauseous. So I ended up having to sit on the floor for a couple of minutes, like super embarrassing, but you know what? It's better than fainting. That would have been worse. So very difficult. I'm feeling very worked right now. I have now changed. I've had a shower and changed. I'm wearing that Aritzia contour water suit, my classic Madewell jeans, and then this Eddie Bauer, the white shirt that I got in my last vlog. And I'm about to head out. What time is it? Yeah, it's 1.10. So I'm going to leave in like five minutes and just last looks at the ears before they're different. Oh my God. This is the day. This is the day. I'm so, so excited. I know I keep saying that, but I am. It's been forever. I can't wait. It's going to look so good. I can't wait. Ah! Legitimately, yeah, months ago. And that was my happening. now and I could not be happier like I am obsessed he did really well considering there honestly isn't like that much room to work with he saw my earlobes and he's like "Ooh, okay like I just had my first piercings like these ones done at Claire's when I was 13 or 14 they put them so far out that it didn't give me actually like that much that much to work with but here we are and I don't plan on ever getting like a third one so I love them so much like I am beyond happy my ears are sore. I'm not gonna lie. My ears are tingling. I did stop at Shoppers and I picked up this. I've used this. Like I used this on my first piercing. I used this on my Helix. I even think I used it on my nose and I can't believe it. they actually still carry this stuff. Oh my God. I feel like I have a newborn baby or something that I have to take care of. But guys, I got it done. I'm so, so happy. So, so happy. I just gave Bennett a little trim and here's the disaster zone. But you look better already. I never trim him in one go. We always do multiple sessions. Hey, but you look 
so much better already. It is scorching hot outside. And so he couldn't be feeling very good in his long fur. Oh, what's that? We have pieces that are still coming off ya. Yes, I bet you feel better. Don't ya? I need to trim his face a little bit, but he hates that. So, so it'll take a little bit of time. Don't eat any more of that though. He tries to eat the fur that's on the ground <laughs> and then starts choking on it. It's a whole thing. for the first time. It is sort of nearing the end of the night now. It's 9.30, so I'm gonna give them a good soak. I was just doing some research on like body jewelry because I opted for the 14 karat gold studs. And from what I read, salt solutions can actually be pretty harmful to gold jewelry. So I am gonna do some sea salt soaks tonight just because it is the first night, but some websites recommended like a soft soap or fragrance-free soap. And I do have this Dove one. I did a lot of salt soaks for all the rest of my piercings. Like I definitely remember doing it from my nose, like literally like dunking my nose in water. So that's what we're gonna do, but I'm gonna attempt to take these ones out. So at least these are protected from the salt. But I'm kind of nervous because my ears are a little sore, I'll say. I do need to wash my hands first though. Make sure that they're clean. Oh my God, I'm touching my piercing already. Ah, I'm gonna break a nail. Mm, I got it. Whew. Ow. Okay, now you would have seen me prepare this mixture. I do boil the water first, but I've let it sit so it's not boiling anymore. And I'm gonna set a timer for maybe two minutes. Soak my ear in it. <laughs> this is lovely, getting water on me. Well, you know what, it is what it is. Okay, and I'm actually gonna pour this out. <laughs> I gotta, oh my God. Well, like I said, just ignore this. And I brought my pot for my second, my other side, my second side, fresh pour. It's funny, cause he said like, don't twist your earring. And I guess that's the, like the new thing now, you know, don't touch it, don't twist it. But when I got my original piercings done, I remember they said, twist it as much as possible. Keep twisting it. Cause I remember being in like assemblies at school going, oh my God, I have to twist my piercing. I have to twist it. But he's like, don't, don't do that. And now let's move on to the other side. So I'm gonna set my timer once again, just two minutes. And here we go. I can hear the ocean. Anyone seen Aquamarine? This reminds me of Aquamarine. Oh. All right, done. It is now very late and well past my bedtime. And I do have to work tomorrow, so I gotta get to bed. I hope you all enjoyed this vlog and so exciting. I love them. I decided not to put my earrings back in because I think I'm just gonna leave them out for the rest of the week. It's just kind of like easier for me to clean. And also, even though they're labeled as a huggy, the hoops do come down quite far and I think it's because my earlobes are so small. So one morning I had woken up and it had completely rotated and was like pressing into my lobe up here. And that's right where the spot where this new piercing is. So I just think for like the safety of the new piercing, we're just gonna leave them out for now. I'm very interested to see how this night goes. I've made like a makeshift pillow with a sweater. I don't know, we'll see if it works. I'm a pretty aggressive sleeper and I'm a side sleeper. So we shall see, I will update you guys in an upcoming vlog. But thank you so much for hanging out with me this weekend. And if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already and hit the bell. If you wanna get notified as to when I will be posting next, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.